What is up guys, today we're playing on Hypixel, you know, gotta play some Skyblock, why the heck not? Gotta check our auctions, why not, why not? Alright, gotta see if we make some money, of course. That's actually a lot of money, what gave us that much money? Wow, that's, that's really good, caster books, sell caster books, I recommend it. If you're doing fishing, use carrot baits, definitely really good, money making source, 1.4 million. I know it's really hard to get caster enchant. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Uh, this is going for 420k. That's still going to go up, I think. This went to 200k. All right. The magnet book didn't go for much. I guess it was really only the caster book. Now, we have this much money. So, what do we do with this much money? Someone's wearing a wet sponge. Wow. Flexing your wet sponge, bro. Is it wet sponge or is it like enchanted? Yeah, I can't even click on him. Yo, you want to show me, bro? All right. Whatever, man. And wait, we don't have any money left. Wait, wait, wait a, mi wait a minute. One point. Oh wait, I'm confused. Oh, I deposit. I thought I, I thought we had 15 million. All right. Don't worry, guys. I don't know how to read numbers, but yeah, we have 20.46 million. That's not bad. So we're gonna grab some money. Hold on, we don't grab money yet. We're gonna go to our base. For now, gonna woo freaking wear our protector helmet just in case. You know, just in case I die with some money. I I probably would not die with money, but let's see. We're gonna withdraw 900k. All right, the massive armor's here. So our goal today is to get the protection book from the Howling Cave. And you might be like, why? Well, we can upgrade our massive armor with true protection. And you're like, what? Are you good, bro? You're act. You're, you're giving true protection on mastiff armor. Like, why? Doesn't defense not give anything? Like, if you're putting defense, it's really gonna do nothing. Like, protection is useless on mastiff. Like, why do we have this? Well, well first of all, I bought a book that had. I bought four books that had growth five and protection five. It was pretty cheap in the auction. So yeah, that's the reason why it has protection. Okay. Okay. Don't judge me, man. You know. Negative protection plus positive protection equals negative protection. If the negative is infinity. Look at that. Minus 2,000. Alright, actually, the defense is increased a little bit, right? Doesn't protection really help? You think about it. If it's negative 248, 485 instead of 2,500, you know, I don't, think, I don't think it makes a difference. But true protection is separate from normal protection. And how do I know this? Well... I drank a true protection potion against the campfire trial, and it actually worked. It stalled me uh, three more seconds, which is really good. That's really important. And you're like, all right, so you, you finished the trial. Why why do you still need true protection? Well, let's go back to the jungle island, all right? Let's go back to the jungle island. Let me show you. You can upgrade your legendary campfire batch even further, okay? You just got to survive a little longer. Stock him. See, three. Trial three. 56,000 damage. I'm not gonna. If I go and protect the armor. Yeah. Alright, but like, yes. We wanna upgrade the campfire. And you're like, what's the benefit of upgrading the campfire even further than that? You know, it's already a legendary reforge. Why do you really need to? Well, right now, the campfire, where is it? Right here. Right here. Right here. It says here 44. Per second while burning. Okay, that might be good in a future update. Who knows? Maybe there's a dungeon. Maybe a dungeon update has fire. And you can, like, stand in the fire and you get healing. And you also constantly heal two hearts per second everywhere. That's basically saying your base regen. Extra two health per second. And it can upgrade to ten health per second once you do trial dirty. That's our hope. But it's going to be really hard if we don't have tree protection at least on this. So we're trying to aim for it. Is it worth the investment? Sure, why not? We'll get our boom TNT. And I'll show you where the Howling Cave is. And where the NPC shop is. If you guys are interested. It only costs 900k. Oh, that's a lot of snow. Yep. Uh, we should have a bunch of TNT somewhere. The boom TNT. You can get the boom TNT from the deep caverns. If I recall, my friend has a bunch stored in. If not, we can go buy it. They, they, they nerfed the price, which is really good, I guess. I guess we'll, we'll withdraw some money. Why Why the heck not? Let's just withdraw. Use our personal bag. Uh, we'll withdraw how much? 
Nine twenty five thousand. Nine hundred thousand, not nine hundred twenty five thousand. Nine twenty five thousand. Like that much. Don't think it's that much. I don't think I need that much. I'll, I'll just I'll just grab this much. For now. All right, we have 19.5 million. Let's go to Deep Caverns, buy the Boom TNT, and then we back. Which should be good. Hopefully, we won't die, but we do have a piggy bank. So, if we do die, it just breaks the piggy bank instead of losing all the money. That's why I kind of like the new piggy bank. People say they hate the piggy bank update, but it's actually decent. You don't, like, I don't know. You won't, like, mindlessly die, you know. You know what I mean? Die and lose all your money. Like, you can, like, lose the money. No, you can lose the bank, the piggy bank, and then, you know, you don't lose the money, which is really good. Uh, We want to go to the jungle island. Yes. We'll buy it. It costs 900k. It's pretty expensive for enchantment book, but the max level we can get. Is this guy just waiting for someone to place it down? I'll just place it down for you, bro. All right. Are you just going to stand there? What armor do you have, bro? It looks pretty nice. It's, oh, purple. <laughs> purple crystal armor. Yes. The best. So we're going to jump in here. Hopefully we don't die. I don't think we will die. Okay, someone someone with massive armor. You got us, right? Cool. Coolio. Now we're just going to bypass these guys. Ooh, why not? Not targeting. Okay, they are targeting me. Calm down, guys. I just want to buy something from the NPC. All right. So here's the dude. Here's the old shaman Nico. Is it Nico? 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 Alright. We'll buy it. We'll buy it. My friend's probably like, why did you buy that? I'm like, okay. It will help with help you with the uh Sven Packmaster as well, because like they do true damage. You know, you won't die that fast. This guy, Hinako. Interesting name. Bo spamming. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice effect. That's a nice effect you got there. What? What do you have on your sword? Or is that is that your like Is that your bow? That that's a nice effect. Is that the wake rune? I don't know what rune that is, but it looks nice. It actually looks pretty nice. We hope we can go back. Cause right now we have some error. Alright. Feels bad, man. Alright, put in our inventory for now. Hopefully we don't drop it. That'll be pretty bad. Oh, there's a runic, we'll take it. Why not? Just why the heck not? Alright, Blood Rune. Is that Blood Rune? Yeah, it is. Eh, it's alright. I guess if you want to grind some uh, money, you can also come here. Uh, you kill these Soul of the Alphas, and hopefully they drop the rare item, which you can sell for 1 million. Around 1 million in the auction. This guy has a very nice effect. I really want to know. He has so much particle effects. Yo, bro, you're so cool, man. So cool. Alright, we can warp home. Yeah, alright, we got home. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's put our rune back in the chest. We have a lot of runes stack it up, which is pretty good. You know, we could sell these, but no, guys, don't sell your runes. You know, all right, uh, you sell your runes if you don't have a rank. If you do have a rank, keep it. Why not? It's, it's not really worth much to sell unless it's a music rune or some other rune that costs a lot in the auction. Then yeah, you can sell it. But yeah, I'm just gonna throw away these wood because like it's just small pieces. I don't really need it. And you just need the true protection. See, it gives you plus five true defense. That's not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Put it on this chest plate. You can only put it on the chest plate. Yeah, guys. Pretty nice. So when we drink the potion, we'll have 20 true defense. We'll survive a decent amount longer, you know? That would be not too bad. Uh, Yes, we would want that. Nice. It has true protection now. Cool. Got an upgrade for armor. That's really good. Uh, let's go to the hub. Let me see how much damage it would take. Just just from uh, having just 5 true protection. Last time I had to drink a true protection 15. And I barely survived? Maybe? Maybe I, I don't know. I barely survived. I think something like that. So yeah, we now have true protection. So my friend can die like a noob. Don't worry, man. It's worth it. It's good investment, bro. Trust me. That's actually a really good investment. Just investing on true protection. Like, why the heck not? It's not even that expensive of an enchantment book, you know? Like, unlike Sharpness 6 and stuff like that. True protection 1, that's... I would buy it. Like, I would buy it. Let's see how much we can survive. Don't think we will survive well. But we'll see. Maybe I'll survive 5 seconds. Let's see. 
Who knows? Definitely five seconds, but maybe not more than that. I'm going to be honest. All right. Oh, shoot. That That is three seconds. <laughs> All right. We need more than that. So we need our crit pot, our true protection uh, three. Maybe we'll have to bump it up to true protection four if you want to get like higher upgrades. But yeah, definitely. Even if I put a, what's it called? The healing orb, the radiant orb. I don't think I will be able to do it. Let me, let me. I won't even survive five seconds. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's try. Five seconds. All right, we can survive for four seconds. That's not too bad. That's all right. <laughs> even with true protection, freaking uh one. But if we have true protection potion, it could bump us to seven seconds. And then we ha we'll, we will have like people throwing potions at us. Well, my co-op members. That that's the people. So we'll just go back to base. Put this dry, uh, this Mastiff armor in. I'll tell my friend I put True Prot on the chest plate. Why not? Uh, he'll be pretty happy. It's 900k. It's not even that bad. Like in Good investment. Good investment, bro. Good investment. I'm going to wear our spiked bait on our head. Yeah, of course. Of course, guys, gotta wear our spike bait. Let's just put our radiant orb. Four seconds, not too bad. But once we upgrade it, ooh, we'll be healing really good. And yeah, I guess that's really the video. I mean, there's nothing much to do. Oh yeah, let me talk about the flower. My friend actually got the flower. There's a reason why uh my, my the bank went from like 29 million to like 20 million because my friend spent money on this. It only costed 4.3 million, which is around the average price. Uh, it's kind of annoying to like do the flowers because like they're all cramp up. Like there's so much, like so fast. It fills up so fast. But that's good. We can uh, increase our collection faster. Not collection, but like upgrade our minions. And this is this is really good. If I want to build, you know, I would use that. You know, get some free dice instead of going to spawn. If you if you want if you want flowers and you don't have the money to get a flower minion, right? And you want to like make some dye, why what not? You go to spawn, and there's this thing where you can actually break uh, flowers, and then you know you get flowers. You can turn it to di into dye, you know, all the goods, light grade dye, yeah, all good, not bad. And let's just check the auction house just a little. Oh, that's a lot of people today. So hopefully this can go for a little higher than that, four twenty k. I would say sometimes it can go up to 800k. It, it went for 800k for me last time. But 420k is actually the highest price right now. Which is actually really cool. That's actually 420 man. 420k highest price right now. And it's not ending yet. So it might even go higher. But like everyone else's is like 300 something k. Like okay. Cool. That's actually a good price for me. Compare In comparison to everyone else. And you're like why don't you just sell in channel lily pads. I sold in channel lily pads. Okay, and I did a price comparison. I sold eight enchanted lily pads, right? And it it went for eight hundred k. And healing ring right now it's oh well four hundred dirt four hundred twenty k. Okay, but like if I sell two healing rings, that'll be eight hundred forty k. But also yeah, I have to consider that like enchant eight enchanted lily pads. Ah. And man, like it's it's just it's just risky. A healing ring, it can go for a low price and high price. The same can go with the enchanted lily pads. I could be selling eight enchanted lily pads for like five hundred k, and then I don't make much money. But if I if I sell a healing ring for two hundred something k, that's not bad. That's still something. I don't lose as much profit. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's really it. I guess I can do some revenant. Why why the heck not? Let's make this video a little longer, right? Let's just do some quality stuff in the server. We'll withdraw ten thousand. Uh yeah, and you're like, why ten thousand? Oh well, I can't do tier four with this armor. Talking about armor, you're like, why are you still using protector armor? Okay, I did a review on protector armor. It's actually pretty good early game armor. It's actually pretty good. Well, it's actually good mid-late game as well. And it's cheap to get. That's the thing. That's why I, I, I use it. I give my strong armor to my friend. You know. I think he wants to grind uh, 
slayers more than me. Like I, it's really good to like distribute your co-op. If you have a co-op, you distribute your members to do like. Oh wait, I haven't started the mission yet. It's called my docs. My docs. My my docs. <laughs> my docs. <laughs> all right, my docs. All right, it's all right. You didn't see that, guys. I totally didn't fail. Uh, Remnant horror. We're almost there, anyways. So to like level six Remnant horror slayer. That's pretty good. Uh, we just need to do a couple more tier threes. Tier threes aren't too bad. It's just like, eh. It's not too bad. Like, just distribute your armor to your co-op. If you, like, trust them. Like, if you know them in real life, like, just do it. Like, just have a certain person have a better armor than the other person. Like, just, like, distribute correctly. Like, the reason why protector armor is for me, well, I distributed it. I, I gave myself protector armor because... I, I'm the person that does most of the fishing. So we really don't really need to use like any stronger armor. But like strong armor, I gave it to my friend because he does Slayer. And he really needs that to uh, do Slayers really quick. You know? And this is more efficient. Definitely more efficient. Like wise armor, you can give it to someone that farms Zealots. Like, yo, you'll be making a lot of money like this. You don't. You won't really make a lot of money by just having everyone do the slayers, unless everyone got lucky and got like an RNG Jesus drop. Which, wow, I'll, I'll be pretty surprised. Like, comment if you actually have three, f five, three or five co-op members. Like, holy moly, just <laughs> just getting RNG Jesus drops. Holy moly, that'd be crazy. Actually, that's a lot of money because RNG Jesus drops like sell for a lot in the auction. Like, holy. All right, we should complete this soon. All right, my friend putting a Titanic EXP bottle on the auction house. Don't know why he's not doing Slayers and, and he's doing fishing because I guess I encouraged him because like fishing is actually one of the better ways to make money like manually, like just manually making money. Like people say, okay, Zelons, you know, 500k for something I, all right, that's, that's all right. You know, that's pretty decent, you know, not too bad. Is that a horror level oh, three? Yeah, it is. Yeah, something I's good amount of monies, but I would argue that. Oh shoot, you summoning it already? Oh nice. This guy can help me just because uh, he's probably gonna do more damage with his strong armor, but I don't need his help. Like I really don't need your help, bro. I can legit face tank this. I don't know. Nice, nice runic. I can face tank this. I can just stand in the corner and like it won't even do that much damage. Even if he chunks me, like you know how like if you stand too hard, it just chunks you. I think it's just kind of trying to unlock his mission. Yo, okay, we got foul flesh. That's cool. That's cool. Thank you, man. I mean, foul flesh. All right, we'll take it. And we just sell that. I mean, I could use that as fuel. It's pretty good fuel source, but we will sell it in the NPC, of course. Sometimes maybe auction might be better. This guy is struggling against a normal zombie. Coolio. Coolio. Alright, let's go to the, the docks. I don't want to open my phone. Even though it's like right in my inventory. I'm just going to go there. Why the heck not? It's like it's like there. Why why, why, why would I not go? Alright, let's do this. Alright, man. 360 XP until the next level. That's, that's cool. That is cool. Because we want the Revenant Horror stuff. The, the mask. What's it called? Horror mask? Beheaded horror. Yeah. Beheaded horror. Because they actually sell. I think they sell for decent. Maybe they, the prices decrease. But if they do sell for decent, we would grind horrors. Uh, it doesn't seem like they're going for much now. Oh, nah. Uh, <laughs> I overspent for the last one. It's, I'm so sad. I spent it when like it first released. And it was pretty expensive. That's just that's my bad. I should have done that, honestly. See, 25k for... Uh, foul flesh. That basically earned back the money I spent on the, on the quest, and basically that's that was a free quest basically. So we go back to base. Hopefully my money is our our bank money is going to be more than twenty million, so we can get maximum interest. Eventually we'll increase our bank, uh, upgrade our bank, not increase our bank, upgrade our bank, and that'll be great. That's a lot of revenant flesh, which is nice. Oh, got right click. I don't know where we put our oh right here. Uh, I don't know where we put our zombie flesh though. Don't know. We'll just put it right here. I'm talking about Reven revenant flesh or rotten flesh actually. Uh, I have a mob grinder. This is pretty big. <laughs> it took a long time, but like it really does nothing. Like there's no 
point in making a mob grinding like a vanilla mob grinder like it does give a decent amount like we ha we haven't afk for a lot but like yeah it gave it gave a decent amount of rotten flesh but like it's not the best if i were to make a mob grinder if i were to redesign this i would just like make two like different like two buildings that goes to in the same goes into like a same area where they drop together which would be pretty good so you know more drops i think it's more efficient if you have like two buildings instead of like one tall building but it's fine it's so basically like they drown the mobs and then they just drop you know this this was originally supposed to be xp grinder but then we just realized that it doesn't really give much xp like they should really buff these mobs so that they can drop something more like i feel like they're just dropping nothing like maybe make it so that each level the drop is increased like instead of run one run flesh it'll be two run flesh for level two zombies you know that would be a nice addition <laughs> this would make people actually make a mob grinder you know that'd be cool all right and yeah i guess that's it uh, i'll be recording another video later it's gonna be a time lapse of me fishing because people really want i don't know not uh, not 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 none of my viewers want it and like I, I haven't seen anyone tell me to make a fishing video but like i, I feel like a lot of people will want to know if rod of legends would be good in the yeti pond because like there's the there's the auger rod right that's the new rod that is created and it seems like a specific seems like specific for uh wait it's not an ice uh it's not in the fishing collection it's an ice collection it seems like the auger rod would be good for the Yeti Pond. It's like made for the Yeti Pond. But like is it still is it better than the Rod of Legends? We don't know that yet. Maybe I'll test the Auger Rod as well once we unlock the collection. Maybe we I'm not sure. But I'll just do a video of the Rod of Legends because right now I do have a Rod of Legends. And I'll show you if it actually gives you something decent. Yeah. Like this one is alright. Breaks nearby nearby ice where it lands. Alright, that's not too bad. Triples the chance of sea creatures that you spawn to be winter sea creatures. Though the fishing speed is pretty slow compared to Rod of Legends, obviously. Like, 20% slower. Not bad. The triple chance of sea creatures to be winter sea creatures. Like, that that, that might, like, change a lot. Like, maybe you'll get more yetis. Because, so, like, for the Rod of Legends so far, I feel like I've been getting, like, I've been getting, like, what? Not yetis. I've been, yeah, I've been getting yetis for, like, every uh every 20k fishing xp i get which is actually not too bad let's equip our slime helmet why not and you you guys might be asking why i'm not doing the slime glitch well the slime glitch you can get banned if someone reports you so i don't suggest it may do it at your own risk because it's still a bug abuse but like i feel like no one i feel like they should not make that rule they should not make a rule that like abusing a bug is like you know bannable you know what i mean like if people report this yeah i'm pretty sure a lot of people report about the slime helmet glitch to the bug reports and they haven't fixed it so i feel like you know it might be the the problem of the team to not like fix it i know they're working on a lot of stuff and they're probably really busy i know because i used to be like a moderator admin for uh, another server it's the server's dead now sadly but it was a great server but yeah basically they pr they probably don't have the time to like fix some bugs like some small bugs but like make it not bannable if you're not gonna fix it you know you know what i mean like some people might not even know like yesterday i i actually got the slime helmet glitch without even noticing like it was weird like, I logged in and I had the slime helmet glitch. It was so weird. Like, I didn't have the slime helmet on. I had my protector helmet on. Alright. Like, <laughs> interesting. Alright. See you guys next time. Peace out.